What's going on YouTube, Geosno right here. Usually I get a lot of questions about downgrades and the terms behind those. For example, SHSH blobs and SEP compatibility and stuff like that, what those are and what they mean and so on. So this is what we're going to clarify in this video. This video is brought to you by Phone Rescue, a program created by iMobi, which allows you to recover data from a device or from backups or even from iCloud backups if you have them. But you can also fix devices stuck in recovery mode or Apple screen or boot loop and so on. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So many of you know that you can actually upgrade or downgrade to a newer or older version in order to benefit from Uncover or Torin and so on. And usually the downgrade procedure is well documented, but it's usually pretty scattered across the internet. So I put together an article here on my website called iOS Downgrades, Blobs, SEP and Basepend Explained for Future Restore. In this article I talked about basically all the important terms. What is SEP, when it's compatible, when it's not, what is Basepend, and why you need it and of course SHSH blobs how to use them when they can work when they can't and so on I even explained terms like nonce nonce generator TSS server and so on so basically everything related to downgrades I'm gonna link it down below this article if you want to check it out because it contains a lot of important information if you're planning to downgrade I'm also currently maintaining here on my website on the SEP and basement chart over here the future restore iOS downgrade SEP and basement compatibility chart and this one tells you exactly what devices can be downgraded and what devices cannot be downgraded. For example, the SEP and Basement for 15.4 would work for iPhone 8, 8 Plus, 7, 7 Plus and so on. For example, for the iPhone SE 2020 it would also work, SEP and Basement are compatible. You would be able to downgrade with Blobs saved with Blob Saver or any other tool. But for example, for the iPhone 13 you wouldn't be able to do that. For iPhone 12 it's completely incompatible and the restore will likely fail. And I keep that for every iOS version. I keep the historic data too over here so that you know what is compatible and what is not. But the article that I put together at the beginning of the month, this one about SEP, basement and so on, this one actually explains everything, what they are and how they are used for downgrade purposes. One of the most important terms is the SEP or Secure Enclave Processor. I'm not going to explain a lot in this video because it would make the video too long and there is already a huge explanation over here on the website, link will be below, so definitely check it out. But SEP is basically the Secure Enclave Processor or a core in the chip on the device that handles encryption and passcodes and security and fingerprint, face ID and so on. And that one has its own firmware. And of course when you downgrade you need to make sure that one is compatible because when you downgrade the restore procedure that you use actually calls for you to get the SIP and the basement from the latest signed iOS version or at least one of the signed iOS versions and you have to make sure that is compatible. So I would definitely recommend you if you're planning to downgrade or upgrade to take a look at this article first to see each term what they mean and how they interact with your restore because most of the future restore failures are because people do not understand those and how to check the compatibility and so on and if you do start a restore and it fails it could render your device in a boot loop and you may actually be forced to update to the latest version available like 15.4.1 or something and of course your jailbreak chances go down a lot so to make sure that you can actually downgrade before you start definitely check out this article I put together on my website and definitely check out the compatibility chart that I have on the website. If your device is listed here as not having a compatible SEP or basement or it says that it's technically compatible but it will break face ID, do not attempt it. If it's green, it's okay. If it's red or orange, it will likely fail or it will cause problems, so it's best not to attempt it. Downgrades with saved blobs are possible, but not always. That's why saving blobs is a good idea, but not necessarily a ticket to save you from any screw-ups like updating to the latest version. So yeah, definitely check out that article if you have any doubts about downgrades, how they work, what the terms like SEP, basement and so on mean. I have explained them in depth in that article. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.